Harry and Meghan's decision to quit royal life comes with several issues to sort out, and with Meghan officially taking place next month, we look at a few of them. On Thursday, Canada revealed it would stop providing protection for he Duke and Duchess of Sussex after they step down, leading to questions over who will pick up the costs of their future security. Here we look at some of the main questions Meghan has raised, from where they will live to how they will fund their new lives away from the royal family. Who will pay for their security? Canada has said it will stop providing protection for the pair leading up to March 31st. As part of its statement, Canada's Office of the Minister of Public Safety said the assistance will cease in the coming weeks, in keeping with their change in status. Buckingham Palace declined to comment on the development as did Scotland Yard, with a spokeswoman saying we don't discuss matters of security. It is not known whether taxpayers will continue to fund Harry and Meghan's personal protection officers, or whether the couple will eventually finance their own security. Harry and Meghan's website says, it is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess' own independent profile and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. No further details can be shared as this is classified information for safety reasons. Security for the royal family as a whole costs the taxpayer in excess of an estimated £100 million a year, but the actual figure is never disclosed. When will the changes take place? Megxt will happen on March 31 when Harry and Meghan stop representing the Queen and become financially independent. The couple will continue to be known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as well as by their titles, the Earl and Countess of Dumbarton and the Baron and Baroness Kilkeel. During a recent tourism conference in Edinburgh, the Duke requested that he be addressed simply as Harry. Where will they live in Canada? Meghan has been staying on Vancouver Island but the family will be looking for a permanent home. They could remain in British Columbia or head to Toronto where Meghan lived while filming Suits, but their exit plan means they have the freedom to live wherever they want. What about Meghan's citizenship? This is still unclear. At the time of their engagement, Kensington Palace said Meghan would be applying for British citizenship. But it was not specified whether she would hold dual American citizenship. It is not known what stage the process was at or what will happen now. For more on this story, visit the news article link.